Hello, everyone. Welcome back again to the world of retail. You didn't believe me about the credit card shot. You thought I was just joking. It can't be in every single ad, especially in every single retail ad. Hello, DJI Inspire Sharpness. Um, that can't be true. We're not going to do nothing but credit card shots all the time. Uh, yes, you will. Patrick, this is not anamorphic. This is not backlit dreams of uh, every cinematographer. They didn't show us this in film school. What is going on? No, no, sir, they did not. This is life. Okay, so we're going to open up. Uh, we're going to start with, this is the credit card shot, also known as the cell phone shot, right? Now, this is what happens when we talk about ratios getting a little bit uh, unnatural. But that's the look that we're going for here. This is the look that this particular cinematographer likes. Uh, you, This transition here and this ratio here versus the shadows here, okay? Um, now, it looks harsh because there's such a big gap. And then there's a lot of flatness in the shadows because there's no neg on this side because we're using a harder light. So if you go with a harder light, sometimes you don't have to neg because the ratios are so much greater. But if you don't, if you don't expose for that, like we're not putting this where the normal skin would be. This is a little bit elevated. So that means then our shadows are a little bit elevated as well. So if you want to make this softer, if you want to make this transition easier, all you have to do, soften off this light here, right? Open it up so the shadows get a little bit softer and there's a little bit more wrap on the light. The problem with as you make this softer, as the, the wrap comes around more rather than being as harsh as this, right? Which is a little bit more pleasing because the rounder it gets, the more three-dimensional, the more it feels like there's some depth to the image, especially when you're shooting this shallow. Like the background is just completely two-dimensional. There's no depth. doesn't matter... Yeah, okay, we're looking into something interesting, right? There's a little bit of light and dark down there. There's some white back here. It doesn't really make her hand pop out at this stage, right? It doesn't really... There's not a whole lot of depth. So the, the lighting that makes things less round continues in that same direction. So to get around that, yeah, soften this off. This becomes a little bit more open. But then the problem when you soften things off is maybe it gets too open and you lose your shadow. Now, you don't want that because then it gets even more flat. So what you have to do is you have to compensate. The softer you go with the light, you want soft directional light, which is hard to do. And you need lots of neg. So you have to really push in the neg because you want to soak up any light bouncing back here that will ruin or make your shadows that much milkier. So you can feel this whole image is really, really lifted. And this is really hot, right? This is probably like a stop over where you would normally put it if you were following like a... Uh, any other things that we've talked about before? And even, okay, even if we're on the move like this, um, you can easily get someone to walk alongside or you can attach it to the dolly or you can do lots of things with diffusion to make this shot work. So we open up with the classic cell phone shot. Then we go to the DJI Inspire 2 um, with the crazy sharpness. Look at how sharp it is back there. But I like the angle, right? I like the angle. It's side lit. One of those things with the... the if you don't go with like a Mini on the drone or an Alexa on the drone and you're starting to lose dynamic range, you can't really go with the, the classic backlit look because if the sun is anywhere near the frame on those lower end cameras, you, the dynamic range isn't there. So it's just going to completely blow out. So you really need to keep it out, completely out of the frame. Um, so this is one of those, this is one way to do that. Now, you don't get any of the benefit of backlight here, but you do get interest in side light, right? So you do get light, shadow, light shadow, um, but you don't get it, the edges around the buildings, which is really what makes things stand out, like edges here or edges there, edges there, right? This is much more, it's just a little bit interesting, but the frame is nice, right? Having this leading line down here, um, but in terms of lighting and time of day, it's not, uh, it's not the world's most exciting. This is a hard shot. Now, why is this a hard shot? Because of the way that we have situated the action inside of this room, we have to light straight at this person because we can't light from this wall because there's no window over here and we're shooting into the l here for a little bit of depth the problem is there's no there's nowhere to fake light coming through so we have to push all the levels straight at her and you can see like above the camera here we just got something big and it's flagged off of this wall here and directed at her it's also a little bit of a different color there's like a warmth to it um but, you know, we still get some shadow there. It just feels really, really lit because, and you can see it here too. It's, it's really hard to come in with direction. She's got enormous curtains and shears here. 
This is what happens when you don't like actually measure the window or something like that, or you don't have everything that you need on hand. You're just like, well, have we got curtains and shears? Uh, yeah, we do, but they were for Hamlet in that gigantic Gothic church from 17 years ago, and uh, they're not exactly fitting to the size of this place. And you're just like, oh, roll them up. They'll be fine. No one will notice. Anyway, we're pointing lots of light at this person. And uh, that's why you feel how lifted she is versus, you know, the background feels a little bit down. Just it's a hard area to light in a room because they don't, you don't get much side stuff and you don't get a whole lot of chance to build up ambient in the background, right? It's all about building depth. You can feel the different lights in here, like the backlight on here. You feel the key light in this thing. Um, it's a challenging, tricky environment. Then you got the cord running right down the middle of the shot, which is always um, a challenging one. Cut around to the over the shoulder. Okay, fair enough. Not, nothing crazy going on here. Um, and then this one, same thing, right? Like because we're not using these windows to light from in the scene, and we're not going for a dark and downlit scene where maybe we don't need to see all of his face. If the client or the agency or whoever, they want a slightly brighter image. Let's go crazy on the garage practicals. But then you basically are forced to just push light at the person. So we got a little bit of these back edges from uh, either these lights, or maybe there is something from above just adding a little bit of blue. But really, as he looks up here, oh, we go down to the phone shot already. You can feel like how abnormally hot versus the background. So it feels like everything, the background could be dropped, and then this could be dropped as well. Everything feels like it could come way, way down and sit much lower and maybe not quite as much contrast, but keep the blacks black um, and drop it way, way down. So it becomes credit card shot. Ta-da! Now this is much softer than the previous one that we looked at. But again, challenging because you've got the color of the skin and then we've got a brown box. We've got like white paper back there, but it's sort of magenta now under this light. And then we have this other orange here. Even though we're tying in, you know, there's like elements of it. There's elements of depth here, but it's not easy with the color combinations and the light combinations in here to make something that feels really like there is lots and lots of nuance in it. It's just a challenging little angle. Then this one, same thing. We're gonna light through, if we don't look into the L of the room here, that means we have to have the sun over here. So it's coming through the shot. So our only real hope here is we're going to do the sun wrap, but inside. Now, the problem with that is that's hard to do. It takes a little bit of nuance. It takes some, uh, a little bit of time to get this ratio and this quality of light and the color of light to match what would essentially be a bounce from outside, right? Because you're going to have to do this with an actual light. And that's why if you can bounce, because it's really hard to make bounce feel unnatural. If you have to do it with a light, it's really easy to make it unnatural by having a slightly off color or making it too filly or too rappy. Like there's not a lot of dimension to this guy. And we're also, it's really hot here. So it's about bringing these values closer together. Like all of this stuff down here, you wanna just almost kiss the, the clipping. But once it, once it goes, well then it, it sort of dominates the entire image and you can't do the squeeze and drop if you clip like this. So again, it's just the orientation in the room because we're looking right into the windows, we have to try and hold all these windows, which means inside, we need a lot of level. And uh, what you end up with is something that's quite flat on him. As we come in, you know, not a lot of shape. This is probably the nicest of the uh, credit card shots, though, right? Even though again, we're looking into all white down there. Uh, there's not a ton of depth. But I like the transition from here, you know, this feels much more, even though it feels very hot, it doesn't feel as hot or as flat as that first one that we looked at. And then it rolls off into shadow, which is nice, little variance here. Um, but then, uh, you know, again, I would probably be looking to, like, we don't really care about this hand, right? Like, take that down as much as you can. Really tell people exactly where to look. Like, we're looking at the phone now. We're not looking at um, this giant hand over here, right? The claw. We're trying to do something else. He looks up, and that's probably the cinematographer. <laughs> It's like, uh, yeah, you know, this, we're really trying to focus his hand on this phone here. And you look over at the DP behind the camera and he's like, oh, well, that would have taken too long. Can't be CBF and we're out. So again, like very hard matching sunlight coming in the background with this. And again, it feels like this is probably just that running a little bit too hot. Just running, you know, like a half a stop over 
or maybe it just needs to come down in softness a little bit and then we need to add some neg we need to take this shoulder it's just like the ratios slightly different but this is the look that people like in retail right they want it when they see it on tv oh it's got to be bright it's got to be poppy got to have all the colors and then you just smush it with light and uh yeah it's tricky very very tricky but this is your life yeah could be worse okay that's going to do it for this one hopefully it uh, gives you encouragement that yes you out there you can do commercials and the commercials that we've shown you in the past probably wasn't a great representation of the vast majority of what is out there so take some of the things we talk about try them out for yourself maybe you like the slightly overexposed look maybe you like the the balance a little bit closer together between the shadows and the highlights um, and you like it a little bit more lifted the style the great part about being a cinematographer if you can say the word is you get to do whatever you want right who's going to question you nobody and they don't know what they're talking about neither do you perfect okay that's going to do it we'll see you in the next one